Hello, welcome back to Venus Sushi Life Modding. In this episode, I want to share with you uh, this uh, Sorcar Node 3, basically um, to create some kind of uh, geometry that resembles a lot of things. For example, in this case, it looks a bit like um, maybe that objects on the uh, Katamari Damacy games. So this ball is, of course, similar to this, but this is actually something that you can create and originally it was actually some kind of recipe that you can create using a blender manually so this is actually a tutorial to make golf ball and I tried to follow the tutorial uh, manually and then it works it's a you start with like a, some kind of icosphere and you subdivide it and you apply the subdivisions and you go to edit mode and then you you select the vertices and then select some kind of link vertices similar and then you you delete them and then and you get something like this it's a if you actually try using icosphere and bevel it's sort of it's sort of actually working um, with sorcar Aaron of course you are kind of like doing um, a lot of things simply by using nodes but it's actually a uh, blender's own functions um, so, if you use bevel, you get a <clears throat> slightly different result, but uh, it's a good start. So yeah, it's, it's completely different. Anyway, uh, maybe you use, uh, instead of bevel, you use inset. Thickness, depth. Turn on individual. Or maybe you need to use dual mesh, but uh, don't worry about that. So basically, I follow the same um, recipe. Uh, have a have a look at this video tutorial, and by Asopticom, and then you inside Sorcar you can do the same. So you use a subdivision surface modifier from Icosphere. So you, you can start with a Icos subdivision of one or two or three radius you can control will affect the final result as well and then you as I think I'm selecting all and then select vertices by connections three connections selection type to vertices so you get that and then you select all invert delete edge loop and you get this uh, some kind of dual mesh and then you select all and then you do the inset and you start to get something that looking like a golf ball depending on how you do this actually and there are so many uh, possibilities and yeah so i i use a lot of inset etc let me try to turn it off actually if i just put this all the way to here so we end up with a uh, some kind of macaron so this uh, Adrian Azumbo made this cake, but anyway, so um, so you you can actually just simply play around with the inset at this point. So let me try. So okay, the subdivision make it a bit slow. Let me set make it to one. So inset inset. Let's see what we can came out with so of course you can insert in or out maybe this should be zero and this one bit of a thickness and push in so this one a little, a little bit more like a golf ball maybe this should be big number okay so that's a little bit like golf ball if you go back here and then add more subdivisions and of course the scale actually matters there you go that's more like strawberries or golf ball but I like to keep the subdivision small and actually play around with this inset so let's see if we actually add another inset so we have two more so I add more inset Oops. 
sound a bit of death. This looks like some kind of aliens looking. Add more inset and let's see what we get. Ah, so we end, we end up with something that's looking like a like a Pokemon character actually. Can you guess what it is? It's actually this guy right here, Weezing. Um, I'm not so much of the Pokemon generations, but uh, this character is definitely memorable. Uh, it's actually also looking like um, some kind of um, objects that you put to prevent a tsunami. Um, but for that, you probably have uh, less subdivisions. I think this is looking interesting. And you can always add more inset if you if you actually feel like um, trying to make this slightly different. Like, for example, if you want to have each one of them slightly different in length, um, in the thickness or depth, you can actually just simply loop one of these. So, for example, what if what if if uh, we actually loop this? more or less randomly um, can you do that let me save this first so you you can really come out with a lot of design icosphere is actually really quite um powerful and magical um especially especially if you pair it with a lot of um, all kind of different nodes even just the basic one so let's say you want to randomize these so you use a loop begin for each component and then end for each component loop hopefully this works um, so the object object goes in this data goes in there this goes in there and it's gonna come out for there so you can see there is something already happening this is probably accidental but uh, it's really super interesting I plug this and then now we have we actually have loop inside this operating on the face maybe I need to just set preview here okay set preview here and then here we can use a value number can be random and then we also Let's say this. Turn on the seed. For the seed, we're gonna use this index. So now this this looping is happening inside this guy. Maybe just Control J. So this is a loop. This is a, this number wants to go into. So we have some kind of number, which is random. Let's use map range and plug this in there and this goes as the depth so now I can control the length yeah and then we can randomize further using math operations for the seed okay so now that we have this we can go to the very end and yeah so you get that result increases subdivisions and you go back and adjust this so now you have a totally completely different design of this creature maybe you want to kind of give uh, some kind of limit so in or out and then yeah so that's this one become super basic however maybe you can bring this in and play around and get a something that's completely different and more interesting 
but no matter how you increase the icosphere um, subdivisions you you will actually get a totally di completely different result thanks to this uh, begin for each component so it's operating on on the face you don't need to think about that so maybe and you can play around with just plug this to the the end if we are skipping a bunch of inset okay you're still getting this result i have this material nodes and the shading nodes to closer the the node the node tree so it's actually go back to the object level so this guy maybe a little bit too extreme i'm gonna reduce that and thickness oh yeah so This is, we actually probably don't need thickness over there. Maybe we we just play around with this number here. Okay, looking a little bit more interesting and then file save you can use uh, try in set or maybe extrude or even bevel But if you use bevel, it's probably <coughs> it's gonna add some faces. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to work. So let's try just this inset instead. So this will the data will travel, and this is the final result. And over here, you just play around. Ah, okay, interesting. It's uh, operating only on that one. Ah, okay. That's a little bit better. Oh, maybe I actually just found a bug or something. So this one is looping. It's operating only one. Maybe I need to select all. And the action select all. Select all the face and then insert it. And now we have something that's completely different. So supposedly, if I put the inset inside, it's, it's gonna give me a different result. But you, you know what's going on here? Actually, it's using it's using all the phase and then it's generating. It's almost like a almost like a fractal, generating all this um, extrusion based on the polygon phase. And we and because I'm using this uh, individual. So that's becoming another kind of design. So, but I experiment with this a lot. Um, let's actually save this. I like it. I test this. I test this setup uh, last night, and then we got all kind of different result. So five, six, seven, eight. So five. Okay, this one. It's actually with the blend you you can easily look at it by turning on thumbnails hiding the folder so we get a lot of 
different result. Mm. Let's see. So okay, this one the Katamari ones. Yeah, but you, you got the idea. So you got this node set up. You just play around with it. Try the looping. Add more insets and maybe something else. But you have all kind of different results. Something that originally just some kind of golf ball. And then you can turn it into a lot of things. Thanks to this icosphere and a lot of uh, just Sorkar nodes. Alright, so hopefully this is useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.